October 29th, 2015. That was the last time I've uploaded a video to this channel. It's wild to think. I didn't think that I would upload a video again. But with all this recent resurgence in Topps UFC cards, I still have a little bit of my original collection left. And David Collage Cards, DK, recently reached out and through recent conversations with him has kind of sparked the idea of getting back into the hobby a little bit. And today, I actually just received two TTMs that I kind of had a heads up that were incoming from Brazil. And these are TTMs. That date back as far as June 12th, 2019. And then not that long ago, October 21st, 2020. So let's get to the good stuff and open this up first. I went ahead and just covered up my personal info. And the thing that worries me the f about this package is that, hopefully you can see... But everything's blurry because you can see on the back it's water stained. And I don't know where those colors are coming from. So I'm, I have a little bit of concern. Now the way I pack these cards, I pack these in a three ring. You can kind of see through the envelope. I just cut out a card, plastic card sleeve and just made a three ring binder out of it or a three card holder. I'm going to open this as careful as I can. It's come apart easier than I thought. Oh boy. So yeah, we got cards, folks. Oh... Yes, this was sent to Jose Aldo at the Performance Institute just this past October. And the reason why I sent to him was for since 2013. A lot of you that may not remember, it's been a long time. But since 2013, I've been doing this on-card Topps Valor set. And since I've made a video, Topps has just recently announced that they're no longer going to be making Topps cards. And the value has incredibly shot up on all these. That's what's brought me back into making this video is talking to DK, talking to Jeremy, talking to AJ. Still a little bit active in the Big Dummy Facebook group for those of you that are still out there. I'm uploading this to YouTube, so I'm not for sure who's still active and who's not, but... If you're watching this and seeing this, make sure to drop a comment, smash a like, and uh, maybe I'll be encouraged to make more of these videos. And I don't know if I want to go full-time back into the hobby, but I am curious about maybe getting into that first run of the... I guess P Panini's going to be taking over the UFC license, so... That was a tangent. Let's get back to the cards, but yeah, I sent to the Performance Institute... Because I've been wanting to get Jose Aldo on this Valor card. He's one of the very few guys I have left to get. Uh, Shogun Hua. Oh, it came out not... Well, maybe a little few missing spots, but... I got him on there. Yeah, some of it came off on the cards, or on the plastic. Yeah, that's from Getting Wet. This is actually a debut card, signed rookie card, Jose Aldo. And again, the water damage. <sighs> this is painful. Painful, painful. This one actually looks like the cleanest card of them all. So if you see this auto right here, this is actually a very clean auto. So it looks like the other two are what got wet. Now that I'm looking at this card, this is the clean one. Man, how nice would it have been to have this rookie card? Ah, it's killing me now. But yeah, you can see that there's still like a couple of streaky spots. Missing 
paint. Damn. And for now that I get a better look at this, this one's wet too. It's got some missing to it. But we still have another package to open. And I don't remember. There's going to be probably at least one more Valor card. But I don't remember what the other cards were, to be honest. And it's crazy to get back two of these because I, th I thought the other one was lost for sure. But it looks like he hasn't sent back mail in a long time. So here we go for round two. Oh my lord, did I really do the rookie card again? Oh my gosh. That's glee in my voice. And look at this. This one came out clean. Super. Oh my gosh, I'm so blessed. <laughs> Jose, it came out super clean, and look, 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 super clean, rookie auto, wow, and how did that work out that I opened, I was glad I opened up the wet one first, because we're going to end up, this, we're going to end this video with some positivity, and we got the 2012 Tops Finest. So yeah, success. Success, success. Here's our nice clean autos. This is clean too. So I would say this was a success of uh, given that we've got missing paint on these two. I would say it's a four of four of six success. Even to have one is very awesome. But yeah, it's been so long since I've got to open up a package of cards. I kind of got out of the hobby in 2015 because, you know, if for, for those that remember, I was spending quite a bit of money on UFC cards back then. I had one of the better Khabib, Khabib collections out there. It's just painful to think about. It makes me stumble on my words even thinking about it. But I had countless base cards and tons of inserts i had three or four of the first autos but i had several of the rubies and that's where the pain is the pain really hurts there and all my ttming it's odd that i sent it to khabib tons of times and maybe i sent to him too often i don't know but i never once got a return back from khabib through yeah, I just, I don't think I ever once got a return back through all the times. Man, that's crazy to think about. But all those base cards I was sending out and all the money is crazy. Conor McGregor too. I just recently sold, I still had a few base cards left of my Conor collection. I had some of those 2013 uh, Champions cards with the t-shirt that he was wearing. And sold several of those for $50 each. I used to send those out as TTM fodder. Just pennies nothing nothing and to think about that we were all collecting these cards and just pouring through tons of money back in the day it wasn't value then we were in it purely for the passion of the cards but man all the money in it and I, it's it's wild to see even people like dk who uh is full gung-ho collecting so if you do have any of uh any older ufc cards that you have available for trade or sell, definitely hit him up because he's looking to pick up sets from that first wave, 2009, round one, round two. So give DK. I know he's heavily active, but I'm also curious to know who else of you are active out there. I know from time to time we get some big dummy conversation going on, but it looks like it gets more views and conversation. But same goes for YouTube as well. If you're active and you're still seeing this, I appreciate you watching this. And I might be encouraged to make more of these because I am going to kind of try to keep my eye on the hobby because I still have some cards in my collection. I have a lot of TTM cards. I sold most of my UFC collection in 2015 because I felt like I was just kind of wasting money because it felt like the highest selling card back then was like not even $500. It was like the values were so low for the amount of money we were spending. There was just no resale value on it. Purely for the love of the game is those who were in it back in the day. I felt like I was one of them. You guys were too. But now it's going to be a challenge to pick up cards from now on. So 
happy to still have these and just kind of looking to reconnect with some of you. So make sure to drop a comment. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching.